were therefore following in the footsteps of our ancestors, and with the assent and advice of the side prelates, dukes and barons of our realm of England, have determined to honour our dearest first-born son, Edward, whose outstanding qualities with which he is singularly endued for his age, give great and be the favour of God, undoubted up of future uprichness as prince and earl with grants, prerogatives and insignia, and we do make and create him prince of Wales and earl of Chester to have charge of those parts and to govern them and defend them. <laughs>